Hi guys, let me show you what's exciting about Affinity Publisher now. Now, there's lots of very good things we can do with Affinity Publisher, and everybody's big complaint is that, oh, I can't do ebooks. I can't send it to KDP as an ebook. Well, you can actually send it to KDP, not as an ebook, but as something that will print and run on Kindles. And this is because Amazon's KDP printing service now has a new service. Now, the first thing I want to show you is the document I've set up. Now, this is in Publisher. And you can see here, I've got a couple of master pages. Page A, let me reduce those. Page A, master page. Nothing on that but page numbers. Master page B. No page numbers. Now this is important because the document that I've prepared has no page numbers on the first three pages and the last three pages. So I'll reduce them at the moment because that's all you need to know about that. And pages is there. Now this is the first page. That's the title page. Now the book I've designed is a digest book, digest size. You remember the Reader's Digest and things like that. Well, this is a comic. And this is based on a very old comic, um, the Fleetway Library style comic. And you can see in the top bar here, let me get up the top there. Now, there it is, 5.25 inches by 6.75 inches. That's a fairly standard size. Now I don't have my I don't have my arrow pointer running at the moment. Let's start the arrow pointer up. Just ignore the printer grinding away in the background there. It's decided it's going to check itself and initialize itself. Okay, there's our comic front page. Now the way these old digest comics work, and this was first printed in about 1963, and I've based this um, I've based this program off that model, 1963 job. I think it was 63 or 59. Very old anyway, very retro. What we've got here is document setup, the layout, horizontal, start on the right hand side, color and the bleed, 0, 6.4, 6.4 and 6.4 millimeters. There's no bleed because the inside page doesn't need a bleed, the inside of the page. That's in the gutter. So I'll just cancel that. The spread setup, the margins. I've got the margins turned off for that page because that, the first three pages don't need the margins. They're there, but they're not used. So I'll cancel those. You can see the bleed line there, and the color goes right out to the bleed line, even the white on the bottom. So let's go down to page one, two, and three, as I mentioned. Now there's page three, four, sorry, is the first page where you have margins applied. You should see the margins there. There's the margins 15, 12, 10, and 17. Now, this whole document will be on my web page in the download area on my website. And you can use it, um, if you like, to print your own comics. Now, this one's set up for a comic, but you can easily change those first three pages. And you can easily change those pages. You know how to change those now. And you can see that there are, in fact, let me scroll right down there. There are 60 pages in this in this particular comic. Now you'll know for ebooks that you don't need numbered pages because they're fairly pointless. But this is a different format, so they do come in handy. Let's go back to our page here. Try that page there. You you might recognise that if you've ever picked up a comic. Comics have different size panels in them. Let's have a look on the large side here. Scroll around with my magic mouse. And you can see 
the different panels page 14 uh, 4 and 5 6 and 7 what font am I using there let's go back to the master page set that have a look there and the font is back issue BB bold italic it's a comic font now that's fairly straightforward there's not much to that there was a bit of fiddling around to get the uh, the bounding boxes and I've modeled these as I mentioned directly from the existing Fleetway library comic and the comic I believe just let me retrieve it actually the comic is June and School Friend and Princess Library. So, has it got a year on it? No, it hasn't got a year on it. Doesn't matter. But you'll recognize the comic layout there. Now, the interesting thing is, I know I'm going on about comics, but the interesting thing is, you could have any sort of images on there. Put images on those pages, and this will print. Let me show you what's behind my publisher document. Now, obviously, I'm not going to go through and set up a whole new publisher document. This took a couple of days to set this up, all those little boxes there. And you may not want 5.25 by 6.75 as a document size. What's the what's the standard these <coughs> excuse me these days for an ebook? Six by nine. But really, you can make any size you want. Now you can go through there. The idea being that you put your little comic images in here. Um, if you happen to go to the Frankentoon website, they've got all sorts of retro um, colors and colors and backgrounds, those things there. Halftone layers, very interesting. And of course you can turn those on and turn those off at will just by using that. Now, let's have a look and see where this gets exciting. This is the Kindle KDP side, the Kindle Comic Creator. Now, if you download Kindle Comic Creator, be aware that there are two versions of this. Kindle Comic Creator for Windows or for Mac is something that is a standalone comic creator but if you go up here and if you download Kindle Create today Kindle Create allows you to do comics you can now use this is important you can now use Kindle Create to create your comic with guided view panels that means they come up on the screen exactly on the on the on the iPad if you like they come up on the screen exactly as you do them on a panel by panel basis in a way that mimics the natural motion of the user's eye through the comic. Kindle creators available, blah, 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 different languages. Download Kindle Create today. Unfortunately, it's not available in Japanese. If you use manga titles, if, you, if you're creating manga comics, you can use Kindle Comic Creator. Don't get confused by the fact that there's two different items there. Create a guided navigation experience with Kindle Panel View. Create books with double page spreads or facing pages. Just be careful with that one because um, if you get that wrong, it'll look okay on the preview, but when it comes to printing out, it doesn't work. Import artwork from any of those formats. There's our favourites, JPG and PDF and PNG. Preview content across Kindle devices before publishing. But as I said, um, I won't go into detail here. Be careful with double page spread, spreads or facing pages. Now, Kindle Comic Creator is a free tool for authors and publishers to turn their comics graphic novels and manga into Kindle books. 
Now, Comic Creator is the second one. Can I show you these on my start menu? I wonder. Applications. HIJK. I can never find these things straight off. There's Kindle Create. Now, I haven't got Kindle Comic Creator on there on purpose because I didn't want to confuse the issue at the moment. It's sitting in my download directory and I will put it on. Of course, you can create comics directly from that one. But Kindle Create not only allows you to do comics, and I would recommend it, it allows you to do other sorts of books as well. Kindle Create over here. Download to PC, download for Mac. So you've got either one. You can do reflowable text. Nice. See your book as readers do. But one tool for any book you want to publish. And you can see, there we go. Look at that. Now, if that really doesn't suit your needs, if you're going to be so fussy that you absolutely want reflowable text around images, you're not going to be able to do it because reflowable text is what you see there. That's the only formatting you'll get with reflowable. There's what you get with uh, guided panels. And all the tutorials and everything you need to know is there. Why am I extolling the virtues of, th virtues of this? Because so many people have complained about, I guess complain is the word, about the fact that what can you use Affinity Publisher for? You can't publish ebooks. Well, I'm here to tell you, you can. And that's how you do it with Kindle Create. Kindle Comic Creator is built into Kindle Create, but Kindle Comic Creator is also a standalone program that works in a quite a different way to Kindle Create. So don't confuse the two. So create what I'm saying is create a way, go mad with Affinity Publisher and put together your images your and your book. When you export it, export it to individual pages. Let me see if I can show you that. There it is. So I don't need to export it again at all. Let's bring that up and have a look at it. Here it comes. There's the front page. You'll notice on the Mac I'm not using Adobe Reader. I'm using the built-in preview that comes with Mac. does a sterling job of opening PDF files. And there's each page of your comic. And that's just the way it'll look on your Kindle if you get that far to putting it on your Kindle. In fact, this is a PDF file. I could actually send this to my Kindle device. You'll see I've got some funny shaped corners there. And I'll find one that's got a blank. Oh, so far so good. So there's one with a blank. Well, they're comic panels that don't have borders. They're, they're just the image that you're using in there and the speech bubbles and the text and things like that. So there's your complete comic. That's the back page. And that's a position being held for an advertising blurb, perhaps. There's, an, there's the inside the back page. And the last page in 57 is where the numbering finishes. Remember, that's the same all the way back up the top. Front page, inside the front page, because the way these little digest books were printed, the front page actually counts as page one. Then there's page two, 
then there's page three, and then there's page four. So the first couple of pages and the last couple of pages on the spread are part of the entire setup. Now, I hope that's been really helpful because I'd like to see somebody, I'll just cancel that, we don't need to export it after all, I'd like to see somebody producing their ebooks with Kindle Create and selling them on the bookstall and not having to worry about whether they're reflowable text or not because that means you can put your comic in there and there's lots of comic creators out there. So, I think that's the end of this one. Um, you'll find this file and any others that I find of interest to go with it, I'll put them in my download area. So if you want to produce a comic from this, go right ahead. Be my guest. Don't forget to subscribe. Took a lot of work that did. And it's the right size and you can change it however you like. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you again soon.